This is an update on my electric supercharger for the Honda S2000. I've made a little progress, but I'm kind of on hold now waiting for parts, but I thought I would show kind of where we are. I got the box built, the uh, motors mounted, the uh, speed controllers mounted, the supercharger just sitting in here where it's going to be, there'll be a plate holding it. I'm using SH8 connectors, that's hooked up. I haven't made the connection to the battery yet. I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I measure these SHH to be about a half a milliohm each. So I think they're they're pretty good. Um, I've ordered a flexible coupling for right here, and I want to show you what I ordered. I was going to make something, but um, this is what I ordered off Amazon, and. Um, it is cheap looks pretty good and it will it will just slide over this shaft here and connect i gotta make an adapter on this end um i think that will be if it works better than anything i could build it's got a little give to it um i don't like all this wasted space in here this this uh, free rc hobby motor is designed to run a propeller a big propeller and I did look at it. This shaft runs all the way through the motor. There's a bearing here inside, and there's a bearing here inside. And uh, so this motor is designed to take quite a bit of load out here. Um, the screws for this thing are inside, going this way, and they're hard to get to. I like to remove this thing, but I got to take the motor apart to do it. So I put a mark here. I can I can actually cut this thing off right here. And these screws stop right there. I don't think this does anything if you don't have a propeller. So I think about cutting that off. And then I can shorten this shaft and leave more room for that, that coupler. And uh, But I'm going to wait for the coupler to come in. I'd really get this thing work without modifying the motor. So we'll see what we do. I, I can slide the supercharger back some more if I need to. But I'd like to get this thing to be as compact as possible. I'm using the mount that came with the motor. I was originally planning to, to mount this motor to remove this and mount this up against here. But man, it is just, it's solid as a rock with that. And this gives me a place to bring the wires out. I don't, I don't really care. I might redo this. And I bought this little uh, motorcycle radiator fan that fits right in here perfect. So I cut a hole and that will suck air to the motor. While I'm waiting for parts, I, start, I thought I'd start looking at the battery. Uh, I've got 20S here, and uh, I think I need about 70 volts. So I may get by with just 16S, but uh, I've got 20S here, and we'll see what we need. And all the SH8 connectors, I may do something different to tie them in the end. Um, so I started to think about the battery management. And my plan is to put these batteries in a box with a, a uh, equalizing board and then a switch to turn them off and on. I was thinking about putting them right here. I could just line them up here. <laughs> and if I did this, this whole unit would be one unit, everything in one piece, all wired up together. And you can just pick this whole box up, move it from car to car. I uh, will see. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a separate metal aluminum box for the batteries. And I, I'm having a hard time finding a a, 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 a a switch to switch this thing off and on, a relay that will work at the voltage I'm working at. There's lots of stuff at 48 volts. I need something closer to 80 or 90. So I think I'm going to do is build, build my own solid state relay. And I'm going to show you how what I'm thinking about doing there. I found this part right here, the LTC7001. It's a high side switch driver. Uh, it's got a charge pump inside, so you can put up to 150 volts on this thing. And with the power FET, you can get a high side switch. That would be the speed controller. And if I use five of these, these things, I'll have 500 amps, 1 milliohm switch there at 120 volts. And the cool thing is this circuit has a, has a built-in soft start. So you can have this thing ramp the voltage up slowly, 
so that the speed controller capacitance won't get overstressed. Um, so with this thing, I don't, I don't need a separate soft start. And the controls uh, come from an Arduino, probably an Uno to drive these lines. Um, this part will fit on a little uh, board and the part will fit right there. The discretes will go in there and these five FETs will, their TO220s will mount up against the heat sink. And I'm thinking that'll give me a pretty robust way of having the Arduino control this stuff. And I'm going to put a big fuse, a big fuse in here someplace too, uh, just in case we, some of the idiot shorts the thing. So I think I'm going to order those parts. And I'd really appreciate any comments on um, kind of where I'm going. Um, oh, also, this is the uh, only battery balance circuit that I could find. And um, it gets pretty good reviews. Some people don't like it. But, you know, 20S, you have uh, certain limitations. But um, so basically, that's where I am, and I'd really appreciate some comments. I tried to get on the electric supercharger forum, and I had a hard time getting a sign on. That's probably where I should be posting all this stuff. But anyway, please leave comments and give me your thoughts. Thank you. See you later.